We are at Sun and Fun, and I am talking with Chris Shuba. Dan Johnson here. The last time I talked with you, Chris, you had to have somebody fly the airplane to the show for you. That's changed now. Yes. What happened? What's happened? I am the light sport pilot. All right. Officially, and this is something which I always dream about, and now I, I am doing. Now, that's my first trip, a long cross country from Chicago to Sun and Fun. So you flew the airplane down yourself? By myself. And you left some wintry conditions up there. We're in the warm Sun and Fun atmosphere now, but you had to deal with a little weather and uh, make your way down here. How long was the flight, Chris? Uh, it was nine and a half hours, but I have to cut it because of the freezing rain and it was also a, <laughs> a little bit of low clouds. Yeah. But like everything goes, it's nothing easy and simple right away. You have to work for it. Well, that's uh, that's how it works, and that's how what a pilot learns is how to deal with that kind of weather. And good for you, but you got it down here, and you're going to get it back. Yes, sir. All right, this is the lovely little Topaz from Ecolet, I believe, is the name of the that's company. Correct. And uh, we have seen this airplane before, Chris, but you said there's some changes to it now, and you've got one really interesting thing that we'll have to re we'll have to reposition and look at. So. Talk to me about some of the changes that you've made, just some of the high points. I think uh, before, as a, as a beginning, you know, we didn't really offer all the electronic because we kind of tried to see then people will like to put it. Now, we know what is good for this airplane and it's good for United States. So this is a company in Poland that has made gliders and they've been doing this how long, Chris? Over the 67 years. 67 years. So they this, is, this is a new airplane to an American eye, oh, that, but yes. this is not a new airplane in the world. No, it's uh, eight or oh, nine dealers around the world already uh, offering this airplane. And they have not only the Topaz, but also Junior and also the Elf. And those are Elf is a motor glider and it's one seater, okay. 103, and that's what this is. And this the the light sport in Europe starts a lot earlier and they are in production of 17 years. Okay, already. 17 years they've been making an airplane much longer. Junior like this. and Topaz. And we've, we've shown some uh, interior shots and we'll show some more. It's a lovely airplane, there's no question about that. So. Okay, so you've, uh, you're now a pilot, you're now flying the airplane around. You told me something interesting is back some years ago, but before the economic recession hit, people were just kind of going, oh, wow, I haven't seen this airplane before. Now you say people are talking to you seriously. They're asking about prices and things like that. Yes, this is the correct. Uh, they ask about prices, they like the equipment, what is in it. I have to uh, admit that I have to edit the radio. I have the transponder A, C, and S which I fly with the uh, iPad, with the uh, uh, ForeFlight, and that's what brought me here from Chicago, ah, okay. safe and really nice. Uh, one more thing which I have to add it, you know, to this airplane, which is different, is the setting for the extra fuel tanks, you ah, know, okay. which is offering also. Yeah, so fuel tanks is one of the interesting things that you've done with this. Tell me about the fuel supply on board the Topaz. Uh, right now, we offer both settings, you know, for people maybe a little bit stronger and younger, which they can lift 40 pounds to fill the fuel. Which is in the wings. In the wings. Okay. Or for somebody who doesn't want to really lift anything and fly, it's uh, offering with the pump built in for the tanks behind the seats. Yeah, so what, let's back up here a little bit, Chris. You've got tanks in the wings. How much how much fuel do you have in the wings? 20 gallons. 20 gallons in the wings, what, 10 on each side? Yes. Okay, so 10 gallons in each wing. And then you've got also a fuselage tank, which has, I think you told me, 20 gallons there as well? Yes. And what what is this doing, truly? We're we offering one or the other. Basically choose. You say, I want wing tanks or I want a fuselage tank. And the fuselage tank, we're going to go back and have a look at that, but let me repeat what you just said to make sure everybody understands it. There's a 20-gallon tank in there, but you don't have to fill it up the conventional way you'd think about it. You've got a little hose you can pull out of the belly of the airplane. We'll go look in a minute. You can stick it down in a fuel tank, and you can flip the switch on the fuel and it's right into the tank. I think for a lot of us, you know, I've, I've, I've hefted up a 5-gallon can on the top of a wing, and... You know, that's 30 pounds to lift up there and pour in, that's uh, that's doing something. It's not only doing, but sometimes, you know, you, you like to do also a little bit of uh, flying, not lifting, and you don't want to strengthen yourself before flying, you know, right. this is for something which is more comfortable and this is designed for a little bit 
more comfortable and maybe aging people too, not only for the young guys. Sure. Now, I want to say something else because you're a pretty tall fellow. Uh, what, what is your height expressed in American way? 6'4". Six, 6'4", four. Six, four. okay. So that's quite a bit taller than me. The airplane looks too small for 6'4". Uh, yes, but you know, that's only look. Because if, if, if I will find a guy who was here in the morning, he was 6'5 and 300 pounds, young <laughs> guy, and he want to really fit in. And if I will be able to get the email from him, uh, from his friends, to take the picture, uh, I will prove it. They're not 6'5 by 6'4. Uh, six, uh, six, 6'5 six, can six, fit five it. And 300, and 300 pounds, pounds okay. can fit it. And he was showing that he can operate the plane. I closed the door and he was really showing how he can fly. Excellent. Well, that's some interesting stuff because it does look like a small little airplane. Very clean, but it looks too small. But obviously, you fit in it. You're 6'4, and that's taller than most people. So that's good stuff. All right, we talked about the 20 gallon fuel tank and you've got a fuel point right here. This still requires that, oh, maybe if you had uh, uh, a pumping situation at an airport, you might use this or that's, you might, that's what but to lift up a tank, uh, a, a, a can of gas and pour it in there, that's gonna be a little harder. So let's see this unique system that you've got on the Topaz. Okay, so it's key entry up here so that nobody can get at it without your permission and a key entry down here as well. Now, this is not a place we normally look for a fuel port, so. Go ahead and show us how that comes out. So there's the hose, and then you have to remove the end fitting. And from there. All right, so you pull off the end fitting, which secured the tank by a key lock, and now you've just got a tube that you stick down in the tank, flip the switch on, pump five gallons out, get another can, do it again until you've got 20 gallons on board. Yes, sir. All right, 20 gallons of gas in the back of the tank, or 20 gallons in the wings, whichever you want. A lovely finished airplane, just really nicely done. The interior is beautiful as well. A lot of appeal to this airplane. This must be a very expensive airplane. What is it? What does it cost to buy an airplane? Something Not truly. Like what for the price? What you see? Everything the finish with the radio, with the full loaded is eighty-five thousand dollars, and we can also provide some training, which will probably have five hours of training to take off and fly this All plane. All in that number. Yes. Now, so $85,000 for a nicely equipped airplane with this nicely finished job here and some flight training. Folks understand that $85,000 is just a ballpark number and it could be years from after this video. So contact the factory to find out the exact number, but that is a very fair price for a lovely airplane. Okay, so that's a lot of good information. There's always more than people want and uh, maybe $85,000 moves their spirit and they want to order one. Where can we find you on the web, Chris? Uh, you find this information on the ecolot.pl and click on the English flag, which will give you the English uh, information or any other languages, French, German, Spanish, Polish. Excellent. These are seen around the world, so that's good information. And uh, we're talking to Chris Suba today about the Ecolot Topaz company that makes airplanes for a long time and a lovely airplane it is. You can find out more about this airplane. You can find out other videos that we've seen on this airplane and many other aircraft. All that's available on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining Chris Suba and myself here at Sun and Fun.